All right, my people, we're back at it again. In this video, we're gonna cover how you, as an own operator, can make $10,000 a week. <clears throat> Let's get to it. All right, so make sure you stay to the end because the last one is definitely gonna be the most, very most important one, but we're gonna get straight into it. Number one, first thing first, you have to have your mindset right. Mindset is everything. Over and over again, I see people in business, period, especially in the trucking industry with everything that's going on right now, their mindset is just terrible. They're so negative. They're watching all the fear porn. They're scrolling up and down social media. They're watching all of the news and they're looking at any and everything that's saying the trucking business is just in the toilet. Wrong thing to do. Whenever you see something on the news, on social media, or anything like that, and they're saying, oh, this trucking business closed down, that trucking business closed down, you should get a little happy. Not happy that the, you know, that business went out of went out of business or that trucking company failed, but that in a sense of that negative for them could be positive for you. Why is that? Well, they have less trucks on the road. They have less trucks that's gonna haul freight, more freight for you, right? Just think about that. Number two is, guess what? Yes, go to work. Over and over again, I've talked to drivers. Listen, y'all, I've been doing this for a long time, right? Over 17 years, going on 18 years. Drivers don't want to go to work, okay? I even struggled with that at one time when I was driving. You are a over-the-road owner-operator, okay? You will not get the max money consistently if you're not going to work consistently and you're not maxing out as a driver. You have to do it. You're over the road. I talk to guys and it's like, hey man, so you know, you know, what, what do you want to run? Or how do you run? Tell me how do you run? And they'll say, oh man, I just want to go, you know, two, three hundred miles from the house. And I'm like, okay, cool. How much do you want to make? Man, I want to make eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, eleven thousand. How are you gonna make that? You don't wanna you don't even wanna go to work. Like, come on, man. You gotta get up and go to work. Period. Number three, you have to run the right lanes, period. You cannot go where you want to go. You have to go where the freight goes, where the freight needs to go. You have to go where the shippers need the freight to go, where the customers need the freight to go. You want to go where you want to go. Uh, well, I want to go to Miami because the beach there, Cali because the beach there, or or my girlfriend is in, you know, Atlanta, or the game is coming on, and I want to go watch the game, or my boyfriend, whatever the case is, it's all kind of different things. I don't want to go in the mountains. I want to stay in New York because of the traffic. I don't want to go to Detroit. I don't want to go to Chicago. All of this stuff, whatever it is, listen. I'm not telling you where you should specifically run, but you have to open up and you have to do the thing so you can max out, max on your potential, right? You cannot reach that 10,000 weekly if you're doing, you're only doing $5,000 worth of work, right? Everybody wants to stay in a certain area. So guess what? You're going to go in that same pool with everybody else. You're not going to stand out. So now you're not going to make the money. So that's very, very important. You have to run the right lanes, right? The next thing is have some endorsements. I hope I spell this right. Have some endorsements on your license, right? You cannot, I mean, look, 
I'm not going to say you cannot, but I'm going to say this. The more you do, the more you set yourself apart, the more money you'll make. Get you some hazmat, right? Get you get you an ex endorsement. Get you a hazmat. Get your tankers, stuff like that. Uh, triples and doubles. That does matter with certain certain uh, equipment or certain lanes or certain areas. You know, like up north, they pull multiple trailers and thing like that. But we, we, you know, in this video, we talking about mostly spot market free. You know, running the low boards or having clients in the spot market free, stuff like that. So having some endorsements on your license is very, very important. It can, and you can benefit in, in a major way, right? So this is the last one that I was telling y'all that was the most important one. I definitely believe it's the most important one, which is having the right equipment. You have to have the right equipment. Once again, forgive me for my handwriting and the spelling if it's wrong, but you have to have specialized equipment. Listen, you, yes you, have to stop thinking that you're gonna make $10,000 a week and you have a bad mindset Right, a negative mindset. You don't want to go to work. You don't want to run the right lanes. You have no endorsements on your license, and you want you running the driving. You're like the other hundred thousand drivings that's out there. You're like the other hundred thousand regular reefers that want to stand up in the areas that they want to stay in. They have no endorsements on their license and the mindset is negative and all these other things, guess what? They're not gonna make that much money. Uh, but this one here is very important, right? Having specialized equipment, you, you have to, if you wanna make the big money, you have to go play with the big boys. Everybody has a regular drive-in with no endorsements that's gonna pick up a low, from Sam's and bring it to Walmart. Everybody has that. If you want to set yourself apart from the rest, you have to be special. Special people make $10,000 a week, right? Not regular people. So guess what? You, In order for you to be special, you have to have special equipment. You have to have a special license. You have to run the lanes that nobody wants to run. You have to go to work because everybody doesn't want to go to work and you have to have the right mindset, period. And if you do these five things, I promise you, you will make $10,000 a week. If for some reason you are already set up and you're doing these things and you have these things already in motion and you're not making $10,000 a week, put it right in the comments in the video and dislike the video. I'm pretty sure you won't do that because if you are doing these things, you are set up like this, I'm pretty sure you're making $10,000 a week. And if not, you're close or you're making more than $10,000 a week. Well, that's all I got in this video today. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, or the dislike button if you didn't like the video. Once again, this is Marco L. Killer Justice coming back at y'all with another video. I'll see you in the next video soon. Peace.